prison doesn't make people less violent. Prison doesn't help their mental health issues. We have an update tonight on the man accused of stabbing and killing a 17 year old at a Circle K in Peoria last summer. It was a tragic and random act. And today, a court ruled that suspect Michael Adams is incompetent to stand trial. Spencer Blake explains why this does not mean that Adams is off the hook for that murder. Last 4th of July, 17-year-old Elijah Alamin went inside a Circle K store in Peoria when police say a man came up behind him and stabbed him in the neck. The teenager died and police later arrested Michael Adams, who told police he stabbed Alamin because he didn't like the rap music the teen had been listening to in his car. Adams had just gotten out of prison two days earlier. Now, six months later, the court found Adams mentally incompetent to stand trial. It's also very important for us to acknowledge that it's likely that what happened here was a failure of the system. Caroline Isaacs, an advocate for criminal justice reform, spoke to us via FaceTime from Tucson. She says prison doesn't fix mental health problems, even though many people say Adams never should have been released from prison in the first place. Would keeping this guy in prison for five years, ten years more, would that have made things any better? Would the outcome have been any different? And if the answer, which I think any reasonable person would say is no, then we need to do better. The court ordered Adams to undergo mental health treatment over the next 15 months before they reevaluate his competency. He'll remain in prison in the meantime. It's still possible he might eventually stand trial. I'm Spencer Blake for Arizona's Family.